And I saw so many shapes within Keith Owens' artwork that I thought could translate in a really beautiful way onto a shoe. And, you know, some of these elements that he had were so kind of graphic and could easily make an incredible heel, for example, or pattern pieces across the foot. It was probably about a year and a half ago when I was in New York, I was watching this documentary uh, called The Universal Keith Herring. It was a very insightful documentary and really showed quite how prolific he was as an artist. Keith's work had very many sort of contradictions. On the one hand, there was, you know, New York in the 80s, you know, the American dream. On the face of it, it might seem like it's just kind of a playful cartoon. It could be attractive to children. On another level, much of his work was very subversive. There's a very serious message behind it. In, um, you know, during the 80s, there was, you know, a lot of crime, there was, um, huge AIDS epidemic and drug use that were really riddling the society and it made me think just how deep his body of work was. I wanted to reproduce it in a way that was perhaps different than it had been done before so it wasn't literally just printing his artwork. You know, it could be cutting out the background, having the background being another fabrication to, to some of the figurines or be, um, be it using Swarovski to do full artworks to be produced in 20,000 crystal. And I thought, you know, that was a, you know, a beautiful idea. Two of the pieces from the collection are going to be um, made completely out of Swarovski. So I have this one that I'm working on right now. It's quite a challenge because in, in a way I need to manipulate the artwork so when it's pulled over a shoe it then looks like how the artwork did originally. Another one that I'm working on is a thigh-high pair of stretch boots which will be on roller skates and this will be fully encrusted in Swarovski also. With these boots it's going to be almost a hundred thousand crystals and it kind of in a way sums up the, the era of the 80s in, in its excess and um, and also, but it's street culture at the same time. I'm about to open the shop here and it's, you know, it's a very exciting time for me. It's my first shop. And I've been working on this project with the Keith Haring Foundation for you know, the last few months and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to, to showcase it. We're going to recreate some of uh, Keith Haring's iconic artwork into giant sculptures and amongst them display the capsule collection which we've been working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah.